I tell the members of my investment community, our tribe, that it's so important that you understand what do you own. And what I mean by that is what exactly is it you own when you buy a mutual fund, when you buy an ETF. And I think as we move into some turbulent times, it's really going to pay off that you understand what you own in your ETFs, particularly if you own some ARK ETFs. And what I want to show you in this video is the volatility that these ARK ETFs have and what a good salesman Kathy Woods is. That's what I, this video is going to be about on Best of Us Investors because I want you to become the best of us investors. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Between now and October the 31st, I'll be giving away $1,000 for you to buy stock. Moomoo is adding to my contribution with 15 stocks worth up to $2,000 each. Find the links in the description. What is a mutual fund or what is an ETF? Well, it's a gathering of stocks. Usually a manager uh, gathers a number of stocks and puts them in in a bag, in a group, and this represents a mutual fund or an ETF. With a mutual fund, it's usually somewhere between 100 and 200 stocks, and an ETF, it's, it's much less. It's usually 30 to 50, uh, particularly in Kathy Wood's uh, ARK ETFs. So there's your ETF, and it is traded on a daily basis, and, and, and through throughout the day, whereas a mutual fund is only traded at the end of the day. And whether it's a mutual fund or an ETF, the value of the ETF or the mutual fund is the net asset value. That is the aggregate value of the stocks inside the ETF or the uh, mutual fund. Now, again, with a mutual fund, they only figure that value at the end of the day. Whereas with an ETF, it is ongoing. So, you come into play in this, the supply and demand of the ETFs that are available. In other words, it's not only the net asset value, it's what you and I think it's worth at any given time. So sometimes an ETF will sell either at a premium higher than its net asset value or a discount below its net ass value. This creates volatility, and that volatility can be seen. And I want to show you the tracking of four ETFs. Three of them are ARCs, and one of them is the QQQs. Yes, the QQQs is an ETF, but they behave very differently. Because of that premium and discount, you get what is it I call a herd mentality, a group of people, and you saw that in my thumbnail, that act like a herd. So that once some buying starts, everybody jumps in and wants to buy. And at the same time, when the selling starts, because the ETF, in order to return you your money, has to sell the underlying stocks. Now, they won't necessarily sell them all. Um, if they have 37, they won't sell all 37. They'll pick and choose within that ETF which ones they want to sell based on their interpretation of what the future market is. But you're going to be shocked at how different Kathy Wood's ETFs react to upward and downward movements. Take a look at this. What we're looking at here is a chart on the QQQs. This is uh, Invesco, I believe it is, uh, ETF on the, the NASDAQ market. And then I am comparing it to three of Kathy Wood's uh, ARK Invest, the ARK KK, the ARC KG and the ARC KW. And that represents these lines here. This is the QQQs. And where I'm start, my starting point is where they're all kind of got together around March 23rd, 2020. And as you can see, the, uh, the QQQs took a nice run up and hit a, 
um, at this point hit a high and uh, it went up roughly 119%. But Kathy's QQ or Kathy's ARC funds went up 346%, almost a threefold more. And that, I believe, is driven because of the premium that people put on her selectivity of stocks. And I have to admit that at this time, this was very, all of them are very heavy into Tesla. Uh, they were heavy into genome, and they're heavy into the future growth of the digital revolution. And so they way outperformed the, the QQQs. Then I came over here and said, okay, let's take a look at what happened when we got to the top of the QQQs. But also under, look, look at how as the, the, the QQQs continued to go up, we, we had a cave on the, uh, the uh, ARK Invest accounts. But they met again here around January the 7th, or yeah, January the 7th on 2022. Then look what happened. The QQQs dropped to, to today roughly 33%. But Kathy's ARK Invest dropped 61%. That's a 2x drop. So my point to you is if you believe the market is going up from this point, you want to be in, the Q, in, in Kathy's ETFs. But if you believe, like I believe, that the market has at least another 33% to go down, you want to get the hell out of Kathy's ETFs because they'll go down an, another 60%, a 3x. It's almost, it's, it's almost, it's a multiple of whatever the, the, the QQQs do. But I, what, what I really want to drive home is what I started this video saying. Know what you own. And you can't really know what you own if you don't have the tools to give you insights like this. This happens to be TradingViews.com charts. You can find a link to it and get a discount to it in the description. But know what you own. And I, I, maybe you knew this. Maybe you have done this. But I think this is the kind of value that I want to bring to my investors, to my channel viewers, both on Instagram and here on uh, YouTube, so that you know what you own and have a better understanding of the stock market and how it works. And this is very insightful. Now let's go learn a little bit more about the, the ARK Invest funds and let's go to um, Seeking Alpha. Okay, here I'm looking at ARK's KK. Uh, this is their innovation fund. And as you can see, year to date, it's down 67%, or, or over the last year. Year to date, it's down 64, not that big of a difference. Um, then, and you can see that uh, we have a lot of sales because I think these people recognize what I just shared with you, that uh, if, if the market's gonna go down, ARC is going to go down faster, a 3x. So then we go down here and we, we want to see basically what they're all about and their fund details. And as you can see in the uh, KK, it is 35% healthcare, 35% technology, and 14% com, uh, communications. And here are their top 10 holdings, top one being, of course, uh, Tesla, uh, Zoom, Roku, and I can see, you can see why some of these, these are down, Teladoc. Uh, in total, they have 37 holding. And then this is uh, ARC's genetic revolution, and you can see um, the past year it's down 56, and year to date it's down 51. Uh, again, the basic consensus is either sell or hold. Um, it has a, te a total of 50 holdings, and it's pretty evenly dispersed amongst the holdings, not so heavily weighted as the other one that we looked at. I rely very heavily on um, Seeking Alpha to fill in the gaps for me as to um, what's happening, 
where I can read um, the publications by Kathy Woods and have a better understanding of where she's at and what she thinks is going to happen. So Seeking Alpha is an asset. It's something I have in my investment toolbox. Okay, that's my analysis of ETFs and in particular ARC ETFs. And I think I, I want to go back to the, the thumbnail and where I showed the herd of cattle going over, over the cliff. Because I think what happens all too often, particularly in an ETF, is that when the herd gets scared, when the herd decides it's time to get out, it's kind of like someone in, in, a, in a theater and uh, you smell smoke. Well, the last thing you want to do if you're sitting midway in the theater in the center of the, the, the seats is scream fire. What you want to do is smell the smoke and then excuse yourself and get out of the, the aisle and make your way to, to the exit door, and then turn around and scream fire. And that's what I'm suggesting to you. If you own any ETFs, go to uh, a, a charting uh, method and compare it to uh, the QQQs or the S&P 500 and see how it reacts relative to the overall market, and then make a decision. Because truly, what you're buying is a, a, a bag of stocks that someone has decided these all are relevant to each other, and they're all going to perform similar to each other. But again, the fear I have is that herd mentality. When, when the selling starts, and that's another thing I, I'd encourage you to, we all follow price. Start following volume. You can see in volume whether a, a movement has any legs or it doesn't. So in your charts, make sure you have that bottom element that shows volume. And that volume will give you a clue as to what the momentum is and what direction it's going in the future, whether it's going up or it's, whether it's going down. Again, these are tools. I want to be one of the tools for you as well. I want to share my knowledge and my experience over the last 30 years in the markets and and have the insight. Uh, I, 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 I guess it's more than 30 years. It's more like 50 um, of what's happening and what how does it relate to history? Because what's going to happen here is an event is going to occur. And that event may be facilitated by uh, Jerome Powell. It may be facilitated by, by the Treasury, uh, by Congress, by uh, uh, Vladimir Putin, by Xi Jinping. An event is going to occur, and this market's going to react to that event. And I think right now the odds are it's going to be more negative than positive. So be in a position to, first of all, understand what you own and then make your decision based on facts, based on history as to what's going to happen next and how you want to protect yourself. This is not a time to be greedy. This is the time to be protective. Right now, I'm about 50 to 60% cash. Cash is not trash at this point. Cash is where safety lies. Uh, I'm right now looking for a place to park that cash because my, my brokerage account doesn't give me a good return on it. So we will look at that in the future because we want to protect ourselves before the good things happen. This is going to be a reset. And then genome sequencing, genome therapy, uh, genome editing, quantum computing, artificial intelligence, machine learning will take us into the next revolution of our economy. It's going to get better, trust me, but it's going to get worse first. All right, that's my take on why you should sell your ARC ETFs. You let me know in the comments whether you agree with me, disagree with me, or think I'm just a crazy old man. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Music